Welcome to Chris Editing. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new GoPro Hero 4 update. This update is for the Hero 4 Silver and Hero 4 Black. So this is version 3.0.30. So first, uh, I'm going to turn on the camera and show this is version 2.0. or well, 3.0, sorry about that. And we're going to be updating it. So when you update this, you're going to need to put the update on the SD card. If you have don't know how to update the camera, you can use the GoPro app or check out the video by clicking on the camera right now. So now I'm putting in the SD card. You'll need to power on the camera. And this message I'm showing you on purpose, so it powers on. Let's say you don't have a charge battery, this will pop up saying your camera battery is too low. So you will need to have a full charge camera or plugged into a power source. So as you can see, this is saying low power. So this is also saying it on the Hero 4 Silver. That shows on the Hero 4 Black and Silver. So now here's a new battery, powered on again. And right away, you'll get a little pop-up showing the GoPro, the little tiny Hero 4, the arrows showing it update. This update takes about a minute to two minutes, depending how fast it can do it. So as you can see, it's updating right now. So now the camera is about to finish. Then it will say 100% updated. If it says update failed, you'll need to re-update the camera by putting the update on the SD card again and seeing if this works. If it fails again, you can go to community.gopro.com and get some help. So this is the new update. So right off, your standard settings is 1080p at 60 frames per second wide with low light on. So one of the simple tips is when you hold your screen for five seconds, it'll lock it. And if you tap on it, you can unlock it. So that's one of the settings also. So first we're going to go to some of these new settings. So it looks pretty normal, nothing new. You have your photo time lapse that kept all the stuff from version 2.0 and 3.0. So let's go to 1080p, I'll show you some new features. We're going to go 1080p, we're going to put it at 30 frames per second. Scroll down to wide. Well, POV. So on this new menu now has field of view called linear mode. This is no fisheye. This removes the fisheye and making it straight. It's actually really good. I was super impressed when I saw this for the first time. This is really cool that GoPro's added this new feature. As you can see, it's pretty straight. And when I was driving down the freeway, I tested it, the lines were really straight. So now let's go to Protein. We're gonna open up your Protein. These are advanced settings for GoPro users. So I'll pop that open. We have our white balance. So white balance is all the colors and stuff. Uh, auto is my favorite. So let's go to the next one, color. So we have GoPro color and flat. They kept those two settings. And a new one they added is shutter. So now you have control of the shutter. For example, like a DSLR, you can up it up depending on what your frame rate is and your uh, frames per second in resolution. You can adjust this. And we have ISO mode. You can max the ISO or lock it. In our ISOs, they're all still the same. We also have the 3200 and 800 from version 2.0 and 3. So it's really neat. And as you like I said, you can adjust all the shutters and stuff. So now if we go to EV, they disabled that because now you have control of the shutter speed and the ISO. So let's go to the next setting. So let's scroll over to back to settings. So let's click, let's go to photo. So in photo, they added some really neat features now in Protein. So we still have our normal standard single photo. We'll have spot meter and let's turn on Protein. So we have our white balance still, all those choices you can use auto is usually the best and GoPro color we still have flat and everything and now the new thing is ISO minimum and ISO max so you can pick how high you want the ISO to get how low so this is instead of allowing auto you have a little more control now so and then you have your sharpness your EV composition and let's go to the next setting let's go back to video I think video will be a neat one or burst. So now let's go to burst, sorry, video. So back to the video thing, the 
remove the fisheye. So this linear is only available on 1080p and 2.7K. I was really surprised. I wish they added it on 4K and other formats. They might soon. So those are all the new settings for video. And then including the linear mode, it's also available on video plus photo. And then frames per second is low lights disabled. So as you can see, linear is still available on video plus photo. So that is really neat they left that. So let's go back to video 2.7K. And let's go to burst. So on burst, they also kept a lot of the same settings. They added some more for minimum and maximum ISOs, just like single images. So it's really neat now. It's also available on burst. So now let's go to setup. So on setup, they Wi-Fi settings have, are improved. Touch display, we still have all the same settings. In orientation or how you flip the camera, they kept the auto. This is really neat allowing this. In quick capture, this is clicking the power button up top and it just starts capturing. We have our other settings are at NTSCs and auto shut off. I prefer having this on. This could keep your camera on all day. They added some really cool graphics and stuff. For example, changing the date and stuff. They had this on version 3.0. This is one of my favorite things. I wish they added it on more of the settings and stuff. So let's go back to settings. Scroll down. So you can reset your camera and pick language. So language came with version 3.0. So you can pick uh, Chinese or English. Make sure you don't get stuck on Chinese. You can check out the video how to go back to English if you accidentally hit that. So let's exit the menu. And let's go to playback. So now on your playback, when you play back your footage, this is a new menu. They added more settings, including highlight tag. There's some new features. So now when you play back your footage, you got the little highlight tag button right there. So now if I highlight tag that pops up right there, your playback uh, button up top for your time, you can lightly just tap and drag now instead of tapping and hopefully waiting you get there. So now you have these little highlight buttons. If you click the little yellow buttons, they jump you to your highlight tag. So let's open the menu up. So this new menu they've added now gives you highlights, clips, videos, photos, and slideshows, and how to delete stuff. So let's close this menu and then open it back up. Pretty cool. So when you scroll down, you scroll back up, that menu pops up as you can see. Now you can click on it and you can pick folders, videos, photos, like I said. So let's pick clips. So clips is all the little clips you've edited and stuff. There are photos, then all your files. Let's exit that again. Oops. So let's go back to playback. So now let's open this file. So now you still have your little highlight tag button now up top right this will jump to the scene you want or you can use your finger and drag it across so now you click the little scissors and that is to edit your videos you still can click five minute five seconds ten seconds 15 seconds and still and 30 seconds so then you can pick your highlighted tagged area and click save and that photo export and these settings are also available all on the Hero 4 Black. If you have an LCD, you can still do all these cool settings. So we have the linear and stuff now on the Hero 4 Black. This is really cool. So like I said, it's only on 2.7K and 1080p at this time. Hopefully they add it to more settings and stuff. And let's go back to the menu. Let's get the Hero 4 Silver. So the menu is really neat on all these new settings. The playback menu is really cool. So now if we go to the playback menu, sometimes the menu takes a second to open. This is normal, I believe. So if we open highlights, now you can highlight tag your pictures and stuff. So let's pick a picture. So let's go back. So this video right there, that's with linear mode. It's pretty straight. And then let's go to all your files, go back. So now if I go back to all clips and scroll down to this one image or video, let's go to this one. So this photo I clipped out in one of my videos 
and that little highlight tag if you remove the highlight tag it will remove itself from the folder so I'm gonna add a highlight tag so now you can tag your photos and videos so now if you go to highlight that highlighted item item is in that highlight folder so if you untag it now it's not so now in GoPro studio desktop application you can highlight images like just like you do on your GoPro uh, this just came out it's a really cool application so now you scroll down to slideshow and you can view a slideshow so if you plug in with HDMI to your TV you can view all that like a slideshow this is a really neat feature so let's go up to menu so all these cool features are really cool uh, special thanks to GoPro for this great update let's see what comes up next and thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't hit that like button and peace